Before we get into today's video, I want you guys to leave a comment down below and tell me what is your favorite feature in the 1.16 Nether update. But welcome back everyone. My name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. We're back on Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version for the latest beta. Today's beta is 1.16.058. This is available for Android, Windows 10, and Xbox. Now, before anyone complains, why do I call it Pocket Edition and Bedrock? Well, some people still refer to this version of Minecraft as Pocket Edition, and some still refer it as Bedrock, so I like to say both of them. So, this beta is the complete opposite from last week. Last week was a huge introduction of so many incredible Nether features, and I hope you guys have been experimenting with the Nether update. It's fantastic. It is a little bit buggy, so I would expect more bug fix betas to be happening. Now this week is again completely different because this week we focus on bug fixes and stability and there really isn't that many of them. The main fix for Android players is that they fixed the marketplace. If you're on Android and you tapped on this it would physically crash your device. But don't worry, also in today's video I want to take the time to teach you how to report bugs if you do find a bug in Minecraft, it is really important that if you do find issues that you report it. I've seen so many people complaining in the comment section say they didn't fix putting gold inside furnaces. And I was like, did you report it? And they were like, no. It's like, well, there you go then. The, the Minecraft developers on Psychic, you need to report it for it to be fixed. So let's get rid of the horrible background. Down below in the description will be a resource pack, which is a beta text hider. It just gets rid of the horrible text at the top and makes it like the nether. But apparently this has been already introduced to the Bedrock platform. Anyway guys, let's go to game and let's go through this week's changes. So everything you see in front of me is what I covered in last week's video. So you can't be too disappointed that this week doesn't feature too many feature changes. Again guys, usually after major introductions, they then focus on bug fixes and these at the back is all we have in today's video. So the first thing I want to go through here is not fixed when, when your game is crashing. This one is fixed crash when checking for marketplace content updates. So if you're on the marketplace on the top, you're able to check for if maps are being updated. Some maps will update quite frequently to support the newer versions. Um, but I know for Android players, the marketplace was broken anyway, but this one was for all of the Bedrock platforms. The next one, Android users no longer crash when opening the marketplace. Everyone in the comment section was like, Echo, I can't do anything. It closes my device. Um, I'm doing this on Windows 10, so I'm not experiencing the same issue as you guys, but it's been fixed this week. So hopefully Android players, you can tap until your heart can't tap no more. And then the next one is uh, potions and cauldrons can now be correctly removed. So I don't know how people figure this out, but yeah, um, you weren't able to remove them or I don't really know what was happening to be honest with you, but you can successfully remove the cauldrons from there. I also think this is a bedrock exclusive feature as well. Let's do forward slash clear. So this week's one is also to do with fishing rods. Quite an interesting one. Does this mean that the return of AFK fishing is going to be a little bit easier? Uh, I think they're going to make it a little bit harder. The reason why, guys, is because this week, fishing rods can be used repeatedly when holding. So when you are holding it, you're able to, like, repeatedly use it like this. Now, it's quite fast. I'm not sure if this is going to be linked to, like, the combat changes. Um, but for the Bedrock players, being myself, I've got AFK fishing farms. But we have to use something called an auto-tappable, which means it literally taps for you. So now you can hold it. So previously, I think it was just you cast it and you are not able to hold down. So quite a strange one because what people would have to do is if we grab ourselves, I think it was a note block. People would be using note block systems. So what you would do is you would throw this here and then you would like tap on this and then you would wait for the bobber to come up and then you would catch the fish. So I don't know, I'm looking forward to seeing if there's anyone in the community can figure out something to do with this one. Again, 1.16 is still in beta. It's still in testing stages. So. I don't know, that could be a quite interesting change, this one. Probably the best change this week. It's either going to be a really good positive or it's going to be a really bad negative. I'm hoping it's going to be positive. I know uh, 1.16 is going to break so many AFK fishing farms on Windows 10. Uh, so this one, mainly for the touch devices, obviously going to be for Android. D double tap on touch devices now groups those items. So again, I'm on Windows 10, but I'm to show you guys, whenever you double tap on an item, it groups them all together. Uh, it wasn't quite happening last time, or you were having some problems with it, that has been fixed. 
Next one, using craft all function with controller works correctly again. This one I'm glad they fixed because I had this problem myself. Searching items now updates the results correctly. So for example, if I was to type in diamond, it wouldn't update in real time. I would have to type in diamond and then press enter for all of these to show. It was more of an inconvenience than anything else. It wasn't too much of a problem, but yeah, you can search for things in real time. We type in iron, we type in netherite. You can get those things in, in real time. Uh, scripting slash add-on fixes. Now, like I said in the comment section, everyone's gonna be like, well, they didn't fix the main issues. Two things about this. First thing is, guys, if it's not been reported, it's not gonna be fixed. But the second thing is, I'm quite confident that it has been reported by somebody in the community. And what really annoys me about the Bedrock version is that you see these two here, these two features here are related to the marketplace, right? And they fix those with with quick time. They, there was no problems with fixing the marketplace content. Now, the core game of Minecraft, a big part of the core game of Minecraft is of course smelting ores. Now, for the uh, Bedrock community who plays, as you guys can clearly see, we are not able to smelt the gold ore. And this is a problem because they're looking for feedback, but they're fixing the marketplace as a priority rather than fixing core features like this. And this is where Bedrock gets a lot of problems because another prime example is we've had to wait so long for the developers to fix sea turtle eggs. When was the last time you've seen a sea turtle or a turtle in your Minecraft world? When was the last time you've seen them breed? When was the last time you've seen any of these things? You haven't. And that's because they don't get fixed. And then we're having to wait updates and updates and updates for them to get fixed. And then they wonder why we complain about it. And that's, this is the exact reason why. They most certainly have had this reported. Gold does not smelt. And I know you guys are saying it. It doesn't work. I know it doesn't work. Because you can see it right here. So yeah, that's a little bit of an annoyance more than anything else. Uh, but I will teach you guys how to report bugs. It's really, really simple, honestly. Uh, some more changes to come in this version. Not sure when they're going to be introduced. But on Java, um, changes to come. Ruined portals generate less often, not left often. Uh, and Bastion loot nerfed from netherite to diamond. So I forgot, I mean, I did go over this in my snapshot video yesterday. Problem is, guys, I was not 100% sure on what they did change. Turns out the change from Bastion loot is that they used to spawn netherite items. So you could get netherite, like broken or half broken chest plates and helmets. You could also find ancient debris. That's not possible anymore. It's all diamond related just to make netherite, again, a little bit extra harder to find. Um, and that's, they're the main ones. But again, this is, this is this week's, oh, this is the seed that I was uh, showing you guys. I've been using this for quite some while. These things being the... Ruined portals in the next update are or, or very very soon are going to generate less often. Although in this in this world I don't see too many. I think I see one down there. But on on this version they do generate incredibly common. They have nerfed them slightly on the Java version, which will be coming to this version as well. Now before I teach you guys how to um, report bugs, remember the other day I showed you guys a glitch, and that was to do with being able to get. These being the, the warped stem and the crimson being to go through bedrock. And I'll show you guys again in case you guys haven't seen it. Uh, we will go with, let's go with crimson. And this one. So they can go through bedrock. So if you put one here and there, and we grab ourselves some bone meal, it can go through it. And I was like, everyone was like, what's the point in this? Well, someone got a really good idea. Uh, of course, it goes through bedrock. Someone got a really good idea in, in the end. So we're gonna go back to the end and I wanna show you guys exactly what you can possibly do with this trick. So something really impressive is that you can take out the bedrock and just replace it with some better items. You can kind of customize and design your your middle. Now you'll probably notice here that we're missing one of the, I don't know what to call them, the portal light frame things. Um, that happens on occasion. So if we do this, this, and this, as you guys can see, that this goes through bedrock. Now in some cases, what was happening is that these would go in here and you could break them as well. So people have been messing around with this. I just thought like what a good idea would be to kind of decorate the middle. What you could do is after you defeat the ender dragon, you could kind of make this feel like it's been old and it's been just left over, I don't know, years. Uh, but yeah, people have been finding some useful things with it. Again, in case you guys are not aware, bedrock can be broken with this. Hasn't been fixed in this version, as you guys can clearly see. Well, let's go back to the overworld 
and let's go through how to report bugs. So as we all know, bug fixes in Minecraft are incredibly important. So if you find one, I highly recommend reporting it. How do you report it? Well, if you go to the menu on Minecraft, this is all for the Bedrock platforms being iOS, Android, Windows 10, Xbox, Switch, and PlayStation 4. Go down to the third option, which is feedback. This will then ask you if you wanna make a suggestion, report a bug, or need help. For us today, we're going to be reporting a bug. If you tap on this, it's going to open a page. For you, it's more than likely going to ask you to sign in. I'm already signed in. Um, you have to sign in with a Windows account. It's really simple. It's free. It's not dangerous. I use it all the time. It's official Mojang Minecraft bug report. Now, the problem that a lot of people have is they don't know how to report it. And straight away, guys, if you play Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version, it does not say Minecraft Pocket Edition or Minecraft Bedrock. So we are looking for this one. The one that says just Minecraft is what they are calling the Bedrock version, although it should say Bedrock Edition at the bottom. That's Java, that's Minecraft Dungeons, Earth, Console, and Realms. Although no point reporting Console Edition because that's no longer going to be updated. So we tap on this one. It's then going to explain to you guys some very basic information. Here you can report bugs in Minecraft if you're playing any of the following platforms. Gear VR, iOS, Android, Windows 10, Xbox One, etc. It just explains that this is the Bedrock version. Highly recommend having a little bit of a read of this if you want to go into a little bit more detail. Now, I've reported bugs in the past and the most recent one I reported was in 1.14 and that was dogs breeding while sitting down. There's two methods I recommend you do when reporting bugs. Number one is to either use a YouTube video, or number two is to take screenshots. That is a lot easier for the developers to see the issues that you are experiencing. If you can't, don't worry, feel free to just leave a descriptive explanation behind it. So I left a description here, dogs are breeding even when tamed and sitting down. I did a video and at 825 in this video is where that issue was. Good news is I reported it in 1.14.25.1 beta and it was fixed in 1.14.20. So they do fix these bugs. So as long as you're reporting them, they will be fixed. If you want to create one, at the top you can see create. Tap on create. First one, don't touch it because we've already tapped on Minecraft Bedrock. Issue is a bug. Summary of the issue. So let's just say um, uh, zombies started to run. Quite scary if that happened. And then you could do like uh, whatever you want. Level security, please use private if there's if there's a security issue, exploit or contains personal information. So if it does contain it, private information, make it as private. If not, leave it as non. Platform, well let's just say we found this on Windows 10 PC. Operating system would be Windows 10 and then it would be uh, effects version. So maybe we found this in 1.16.0. 58 that is the latest beta a drop down should happen now if you're using 1.14 and you wanted to report an update You could still do 1.14.60 all versions should be there and will be there for when reporting and then you leave a Descriptive feedback or you could attach things or you can leave a link to a YouTube video Leave as much detail as possible and then you'd simply tap on create now if somebody's already reported this bug It will probably say it's a duplicated bug in that case You don't have to worry about it close down your minecraft. It's already been reported So hopefully this video helps you report the bugs because complaining in my comment section is not going to get your bugs fixed You need to report them the developers are not psychic looks like we made a little bit of a friend here uh, And the, the world is quite dark for some strange reason Maybe that's a bug as well. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Nothing major. I will keep you all updated as much as possible. And of course, I'll catch you next time. Bye.